<clears throat> um, I want to take some time here to uh, edify my brother, Derek Withy. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if any of you know Derek Withy, but I'm here to tell you that uh, he was a dear brother of mine. I happen to love him very much. I want everyone to know I don't really know what happened to him. I'm a little bit upset because nobody's really told me. But I will tell you this, he had a very terrible back condition and he always took pain pills to deal with his medical uh, spine issue. But he was a phenomenal athlete, a phenomenal educator in athletics. He was, he was a, and man, I'll tell you what, as young as he was, he was one of the best dads you will ever see. I am telling you, even I have, I was his student as far as dadship. I have, I witnessed this young man demonstrate dadship like you've never seen dadship. I was his mentor in Jesus and teaching the Bible. I was a martial arts advisor. We shared knowledge with each other. But as far as dadship, you have never seen such a young man. He had tattoos, he was ripped, he was a skinhead, and brother, he was high German, but Irish. But he, he never let his personal relationship life or his personal struggles invade his dadship. He was, he was one of the best dads at his age I have ever seen in the history of our world. He really was and is, and I just know that in my heart... You know, Luke, if you hear this message, my heart goes out to you and your dad. He was one of the best dads I ever saw. I'm telling you what, man. He took the time to love and nurture his sons and his children like you've never seen anyone nurture. And uh, I just, the information that I have, the, the small amount of knowledge I've gotten, Someone had made the statement that he passed away in his sleep. And I just know in my heart that, uh, I just know that, uh, you know, for us that knew him, incredible, incredible brother. He would, he would do anything for anyone. He would go out of his way. When I was uh, younger in my marriage, a lot of his advice really taught me his mistakes that he showed me taught me how to be a better man how to appreciate things better he was a great teacher for his age phenomenal teacher um, so Heavenly Father in Jesus name I ask to bless Derek I know that he's in a state of waiting like uh, those that have passed on. I know that people, I am an educator in the supernatural. I'm an exorcist. I'm a specialist. I've, I've studied under the world's most famous exorcist outside, just under Jesus, and that was Dr. Gabriel, Father Gabriel of Rome, most historically noted exorcist in the world. I've studied his material, and I want you to know that people that pass on they're not always in a state of rest. They're, they're laboring. Some of them are laboring. Some of them are uh, awaiting judgment. But nobody has been to heaven and nobody's been to hell yet. They're in a state of purgatorial uh, condition. It's like a probationary spirituality in between dimensions. And they can visit people. They can help. They can intervene. They're allowed the freedom to do whatever they want until the judgment. And it's a fact. So I want you to know if any of you get a visitation from him by vocal voice uh, in the distance or if you see his spirit stepping to you just outside of uh, the light, like just from a distance, know that that's really him. Spirits have these legal rights until the judgment. Okay? So don't be alarmed. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Just know that... Uh, uh, spirits from from that have passed on are are called orbs to some. There are good spirits and there are bad spirits, and believe me, 
I'd rather say instead of saying a bad spirit, more like mad spirit. <laughs> there are mad spirits that didn't are not happy that they died. You know, I can only hope and pray that uh you know, that you all understand these things. Uh and I ask that Jesus would bless his boys with a double portion of his mantle, the good things of his mantle, not the sinful things, not the cursed things, but the good things of his mantle, and that his dadship will carry on in their blood. And uh, you bless his mother, incredible mother. You ain't ever met a mother so strong as Derek's mom, man. She's like a female Rocky Balboa. I'm not kidding you. She is one mighty woman. And uh, Derek's dad... Derek's dad has been through hell and high water. He was a high officer Marine. He had been through a lot. He has, he has tasted the, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and he has brought his boys up to be strong-minded, backboned, and focused. And I can tell you what, it's not easy to shape steel, but he's done a fine job. Father, I just ask that you bless their family in Jesus' name. And let the heavens pillars ring. Derek with thee, in Jesus' name.